on this site. If something ruins, it doesn't matter. So what? we're on the road from Yunta to Akarula and uh, here we have Greg. Hey Greg. Victor and Dave. So we've got two TRs. Are they TRs or? Yeah, two TR 650s and a WR. 250R and I've got a beta over there on the back of the ute so we're just making our way on this lovely Tuesday morning it's pretty bloody chilly um, up to the Flinders so yeah and it's a pretty stunning country all right so I'm on sort of halfway from Yunta to Akarula um, I went ahead of the fellas uh, so I've just set up uh, some coffee and tea um, I'm traveling in luxury because I've got a vehicle put on a hot boil um, I'll put the coffee on when the guys get here hopefully the wind's not blowing this out too much um, Ute's going really well uh, I've only had it for a couple of months secondhand in beautiful condition it's done like a hundred thousand kilometers over ten years so 2007 BT50 but yeah like the rack and roll it's a pretty sort of corrugated road with lots of cattle grids and dips and uh, it's all it's all good the rack and roll is rocking and rolling so it's uh been super super bomb proof th thus far i keep thinking that i'll look back in the rear vi vision mirror and that the bike won't be there anymore but um as you can see it's all pretty solid it's got the hooks onto the foot pegs so you've got a foot peg attachment there you've got a foot peg attachment here um there's also slides in really nicely on the front wheel and then there's this uh, rear bracket thing which locks up with this um, lock nut thing, pushes up against the, the front wheel, locks that in really securely. So three points there, that um, tie down strap that I'm running through the three uh, tensioners is just there to keep them from wiggling uh, or possibly wiggling loose. That's uh, as per the instructions. So yeah, look, I had no trouble getting it on. It was all pretty easy. Um, hooks into the 50 mil trailer hitch and uh yeah it's all wired in so i've got i've got lights and stuff and it's been bomb proof the only thing that i regret doing is putting a bit of lubricant on the chain because it's picked up fuck loads of dust and it's looking pretty pretty grim so yeah um hopefully uh hopefully i'll give that a clean off before i go riding but shit these guys that just went past me i passed them quite a while ago it's not a good sign um, hopefully the bikers are still on route this way it's possible that um, they have turned off I, although I couldn't see any right hand turns um, so fingers crossed they come this way or the coffee and tea will be just for me and I'll have to catch them a little later on but yeah life's good the beta will be taken off the bike when the weather oh, sorry when when I arrive at the Flinders so possibly go for a bit of a, a spin this afternoon definitely I'll be spending the, the day on the bike tomorrow um, yeah that's enough from, uh, from dirt bike down under for now this is Tori and we'll stay we'll, we'll get in touch again once some more action is happening yeah, as I was saying there's lots of cows around this is obviously a little well station there's a bunch of tanks and uh, riverbed beautiful big gum trees in the riverbed so they obviously get a bit of water here and there uh, as opposed to all the little scraggly shitty trees that we see everywhere else but yeah these cows are looking pretty chilled out over here these uh, cattle rather um, got a big gang there's probably a couple of bulls in there probably or maybe not but um, yeah they're all looking a bit standoffish no I'm not gonna herd you guys up all is well all is well um, I don't know where the guys have got to I, um, I waited for about an hour back at that um, where I last filmed and uh, maybe over an hour and they didn't show up so they may have taken an alternate route or otherwise had some kind of incident but uh, I think the fallback plan was to meet at Blinman uh, the Blinman pub at um, I think seven o'clock tonight so it's not far away I'm probably half an hour away from Blinman so I'm just gonna keep driving and try and find a nice campsite and um, set up and then probably go to the Blinman pub for a beer but I'm just walking around here because I wanted to stretch my legs. The riding out here, the potential looks crazy. It's very, very remote though. Um, uh, you know, you, you sort of want to go with other people in case you have an issue. If you're out in some of these hills, 
when you have a breakdown, it would be hard to get back to um, some kind of safety. Um, yeah, lots of cattle station uh, land here. I don't know how much is national park and how much is locked up as private property. Not many fences around. The, I'm obviously on some part of a station now because, you know, people have farmed cattle here. But um, yeah, there's a mountain in the distance up there. I'll see if I can zoom in. Crappy Samsung zoom, but look pretty good. Wouldn't mind riding up to the top of that. So uh, tomorrow will be the day that I get out exploring and um, hopefully go fast enough to get this dust off this bike because it is just coated in a fine layer of of central sort of Australian dust, Flinders Ranges dust. But yeah, back into the black BT50, onward we shall go. And um, yeah, more from me later on. Cheers guys.